Behind me is one of our signature series, Whitetail Group Blind. We've worked for years developing these things, just like we do farms. We've developed strategy into these things so that they're super functional for getting on these big mature deer. A lot of us diehard bow hunter guys, you know, we, we don't necessarily love them, but it is a tool for certain scenarios. And my number one criteria for a box blind is it has got to be scent free. It gets you in so many more spots with these deer that you might otherwise not be able to. Any of the joints that can swell and contract throughout the change of the seasons are all silicone. And we've just been really meticulous about the weather stripping and everything to make these things as scent tight as possible. The windows in these blinds are glass and they have a metal frame. Glass is rigid. You'll notice in a lot of blinds, there's tons of latches and that's because you need tons of latches with plexiglass in order to seal it against the seal. With this glass, if you just have one pressure point, it's gonna hold the whole window tight against the weather stripping. Now the weather stripping, over the years, that's kind of evolved for us as well. Used to use kind of the foam weather stripping. You gotta get in the blind and open the window and kind of exercise it, otherwise it'll click and pop. What we use is like a felt. It's more of like a bristle material and it still holds the scent tight and it is a lot less likely to click and pop. Glass doesn't scratch, so when they fog and stuff and people tend to wipe with dirty clothes and rags and stuff in the blind, it scratches plexiglass. Then looking at the blind on the outside, they're black for a functional reason, and that is your concealment, right? So inside the blinds are also black. The windows are matte black, and the frames are a really, really dark gray, almost black. A lot of times on blinds, they're almost all just the glass on the outside. So what happens is, even if you've got curtains, it creates a mirror-like effect. So when you open it and the sun hits it, there can be like a really sharp reflection into the deer's eyes or at bare minimum, there's just, there's movement. There's more movement than there needs to be. So with these, everything is black and the vinyl is on the outside. It's a matte blackout vinyl. And over the years, you know, we've used curtains, but what happens is really, you wanna be able to open the window and have a nice hole to shoot out of. But when you're viewing, you just, you wanna keep it as dark as possible and you, you don't need to see a lot. So what we do is we take a nine inch uh, envelope. We kind of look through the window where we're gonna need to see out of that window and then visualize it. And we open the window, trace it out and cut it. Then we take that, that sticky piece, bring it back on the inside and it'll lay right on the glass. So you can kind of use it as a, as a little mini curtain to let light in where you need it and shut windows where you don't need it. It's really customizable like that. So we prefer the blind elevators way more than the metal platforms. With the elevators on there, it's a lot easier to get your forks under there in the first place, but they're just, I can put one of these things up by myself with the tractor in about 15 minutes. And a lot of times we move these things. I mean, just like a tree stand, just because you put up a blind doesn't mean it needs to stay there the whole time. So well, these are built in Brown County, Illinois. If you're interested in, in purchasing one, uh, just get a hold of us.